Okay, let's talk about some tools that we can find just from going through our drawers in maybe our kitchens or walking around our house. Um, I think everything that I have here is pretty much from my kitchen. One thing is from my bathroom, but um, yeah, so there's probably lots of things that you can use that are in your house. We did provide you with very minimal basic tools to take home, um, but a rolling pin is something that you guys will definitely need. Um, if you don't have a rolling pin, you could use like a large like olive oil bottle, um, any kind of large like glass bottle. If you have any round glass bottles that were used for like canning purposes, I know that I have some like round mustard glass bottles upstairs that I could also use. Um, so anything that you can roll out some clay with will work. PVC pipe too, um, if you have a length of PVC pipe um, kicking around, um, that would work. Uh, some other things would be just like a regular butter knife, okay? We can use that to cut our clay um, when we need to cut out some slabs. Um, I pulled out a spatula, um, and this I'm going to use for a rib and to smooth the clay, which I'll show you once we start working, and I have some demos with that. Same with this guy. This could be used to smooth the smooth the clay. Um, once you kind of have a slab rolled out, you could take your sponge over it and get it just a little bit damp. And then you take this guy over it um, and smooth out the surface really nicely. Um, you could use plastic spoons or metal spoons, plastic forks, metal forks. Um, I also have kids, so I have a whole bunch of like plastic utensils from when they were littler. Um, those will all work. Um, these I pulled out because they were similarly um, thick. So when we roll out our slabs, it would be nice to have two items that are similarly thick. My cat is playing over here. Um, to uh, help us make a, a slab that's the same thickness all the way across. So these could help us do that. I also have used, I have some um, stainless steel straws. These are a nice thickness to create slabs with. And also I pulled out some chopsticks um, that also could be used as guide sticks for making slabs. Um, the last thing that you guys need for sure is something to cut your clay with. This is just a piece of floss, okay? So I'm sure the majority of you guys have floss at home. If you can get like a long piece, I don't know, this piece is like the length of my arm. Um, and then we can use this to cut our clay with to get a nice chunk off of. Um, you could use string. Um, Anything that's like long and thin, but the floss will work really well. You could also use wire. You know, we have the thin wires in the building that we use there. Um, but these are just some materials that you can kind of gather up to kind of have on hand that hopefully won't be missed for a little while um, while you are working with clay at home.